make sure you are being God to yourself. Make sure you are being G-O-D to yourself. Add another O. Make sure you're being good to yourself. But let's be God to ourselves, Because we need that. We was not good to ourselves. So, this is part three. Because um, being devil to yourself is bad for your health. And um, let's get straight to this. Listen to this beautiful bill. Beautiful bill. And the one ingredient that allows us to do that is knowledge or information. Because every time you learn something new, you make a new connection in your brain. That's what learning is. Learning is forging new connections. Remembering is maintaining or sustaining those connections. So now, every time you have a thought, you make a chemical. And if you have a great thought or an unlimited thought or a joyful thought, you turn on a set of circuits in your brain that fires in a very specific sequence, pattern, and combination that produces a level of mind that turns on another part of the brain that makes a chemical for you to begin to feel exactly the way you were just thinking. Great or unlimited or joyful. Now, if you have a negative thought or an unhappy thought or a self-depreciating thought, you turn on a different set of circuits and a different combination, a different sequence and a different pattern that produces a different level of mind. And the brain then begins to make a different batch of chemicals that signals the body for you to begin to feel exactly the way you were just thinking, negative or unhappy or unworthy. So the moment you begin to feel the way you think, because the brain is in constant communication with your body, you begin to think the way you feel, which makes more chemicals for you to feel the way you think, and then you think the way you feel, and then you feel the way you think, and then you think the way you feel. And some people do this for 20 or 30 or 40 years. Now, the redundancy of that cycle over time creates what I call a state of being. And a state of being is when your mind and body are working together, or your thoughts and feelings are aligned to a concept. So thoughts are the language of the brain, and feelings are the language of the body. And as people get caught in this cycle of thinking and feeling and feeling and thinking, over time, they condition their body to memorize that emotion as well as the conscious mind. And whenever the body knows as well as the mind, that's called a habit. A habit is when your body is the mind. Now, 95% of who you are, by the time you're 35 years old, is a set of memorized behaviors set of emotional reactions, beliefs, perceptions, attitudes that run just like a computer program. So 5% of your conscious mind begins to work against 95% of what you've memorized. So the person wants to think positively, but they're feeling negatively. They want to create their dream board, you know, and put up their future life, but they feel unworthy. That's mind and body in opposition. We have to recondition the body to a new... You hear this? You can't no longer do mental masturbation. I don't know why would you want to stay in that vibration. Why would you want to stay there like a nigga with no hands in a wheelchair? Why would you do it? You ain't flowing like fluid. Things are not incongruent. You want to be God to yourself. And I'm not on the soapbox pointing the finger at you. It's also at me. I have to push my limits. Every day I'm in the becoming. We are never complete, but I'm trying to complete the mission. We are completing the mission. We are the mission. All is God. So put God in everything you do. Real shit. You don't need to search for a blues clues. It's right in front of you. We're in a box to a square. Real life. We living in hell, bitch. We got to make it right. This shit ain't paradise. You got to sacrifice. You know what I mean? We want to be free. We want to see things without the key. What is reality to you? What is fantasy to me? What does it lead to a tree? Real life. We got to go deeper. We got to really take our time and be God to ourselves, And make sure you can be strong for yourself to be strong for others. Real shit. Let's go.